It's Tracy and Noel. They're gonna make you LOL on 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Hello and welcome to 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. This is episode 127. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo. I'm joined by my lovely co host, Noel Winters Herzog. Hi. Hi, we're here to talk about Happily Ever After, season six, episode 10. Okay, I'm ready. Before we get totally into the episode, Noel, I do want to tell you about something really exciting. You have your movie phone voice on. Thanks so much. <laughs> Press seven for theater times. <laughs> Boop. Seven, seven, seven film. <laughs> I want everyone to listen mm. to our new podcast, Catfish Trash Talk. Yes. If you're not watching Catfish and if you've never watched Catfish before, that's fine because Catfish is a one and done kind of thing. So you could just watch one episode and listen to the one recap that we do and mm -hmm. you're you're going to be on track. There's no backstory. That's the best part about it. It's like you don't have to be a regular watcher. We're in season eight right now of Catfish and you don't have to have watched all the other seasons. You don't even have to have watched the first eight episodes of Catfish of this season. Right. That's, that's why I really like it. And that's why I think you guys should try it. Even if you don't watch Catfish, just check it out. Okay, check it out. Also, if you want more of us and you want to hear everything that's in our brains just dumped right into a podcast, <laughs> we do a crazy brain dump <laughs> on our <laughs> podcast BS. We also have... 16 and pregnant trash talk, unexpected trash talk, 90 day fiance self quarantine trash talk on our Patreon at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. And we have a great new benefit on Patreon. What is it? Well, if you join at the elite level, mm -hmm. you are going to get access to all three of our podcasts. That's catfish trash talk, 90 day fiance trash talk and teen mom trash talk up to one week early. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. As soon as we record them, we're going to post them up. That's like a really good benefit. I can't tell you how many podcasts I wait for. Okay. And this is the other thing, right? So mm -hmm. usually when you join a Patreon of a podcast, you mm -hmm. only get the benefits of one podcast. Yes. You're getting the benefits of three podcasts with one membership. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, some podcasts, it's like, $30 just for the one podcast. We have all different levels for all different budgets. And mm -hmm. if you want the podcast early, you're going to get three podcasts early. Hell yeah. That's insane. Uh, so go check it out at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. If our elite level is not up yet, it will be soon. I promise you that, but go check it. All right. Cause we're recording this in the, uh, the past. We are in the past. I'm looking forward to the future. I wonder what it's like when this airs. I know. Like, what's life going to be like? I don't know. I bet it's going to be hot out. Oh, it's unless, definitely going to be hot out. Unless you live in Australia and then it's going to be very chilly willies. Mm, chilly willies like the penguins. Yes. So let's get right into it. Let's jump off the cliff into Tiffany and Ronald. Okay. What are they doing exactly? Okay. So what happened? This is what happened. Mm -hmm. So Ronald painted this jail cell. Yeah. He painted every single surface in this jail cell with like oil based paint. Uh huh. He painted the floor with like concrete paint. Yeah. And then he put uh, corrugated cardboard down so that he could stand on it because you uh -huh. can't walk on the floor uh -huh. because the paint was wet. Okay. But see, the thing is, the paint is wet. Uh huh. So it's stuck to the floor. Oh. I was like, okay, did he do what I did with my mulch in the backyard and put cardboard down and then paint on top of the cardboard? No, that's what he did. No, oh, I could not figure it out. I'm like, what are they doing? What uh -huh. is this? I know. At first I was like, are they revealing a, a floor? Yeah, it no. was really weird. He stuck all the cardboard. And I like how he really has Daniel doing most of the hard labor. Yeah, well, this guy, he has a gold watch. He has to earn it. I know, my boy. <laughs> My boy. So he has, uh, they're taking the cardboard off the floor in the dungeon. Mm -hmm. Did you notice his half couch? Uh, no. Okay. So he only has a tiny little bit of wall space for his right. couch. So what he did was he got a part of a sectional. I have a friend who did this. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. I had a partner who did this. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Uh, and we had to <laughs> watch TV on just one square of a se sectional <laughs> that's pretty terrible and it was the part that was a fainting couch uh-huh 
So I didn't get a backrest. Oh no, that sucks. I would so, sit on the floor. Yeah. I mean, there was like no room. Yeah. That's terrible. There was no floor. The floor was lava. You know, well, here's the thing. I would never sit on Ronald's floor because it's tile. I, 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 I would break, yes. but I've noticed, and I'm not like trying to like generalize anything. I'm just saying I've noticed like a lot on 90 day fiance, when they show other countries, mm-hmm. everything looks smaller. The furniture always looks smaller. Yes. I do think that, um, a lot of, especially European countries have a very low profile uh, furniture look. Yes. Um, and everything is a lot smaller. Also, uh, the crib that they have, is this like from the Barbie dream house crib? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Cause I don't <laughs> think that I would put a human baby in it. No, I wouldn't even put a doll baby in it. A Barbie baby. in it. <laughs> <laughs> so they get to the house. There is no food, but there is one beer and six eggs. And Tiffany said that she's like, listen, it was super expensive to build this dungeon, right? Maybe you should have bought food. And he said that, no, he had too much to do. He couldn't buy the food. And then he said she was like, there was a beer and six eggs. And he, this is a quote. Surprisingly, there was still a beer left between me and you. That's what he told the cameras between. So he's an alcoholic now. OK, I don't think he's an alcoholic. I think he was just showing off like cool. a beer. Look at how cool I am. Oh, I drink all the beers in this house. Like just a moron. I just love how he's freshly out of uh, a rehabilitation for addictions. Yeah. And obviously I don't think he's an alcoholic, though. It doesn't matter. It's like, why even what? Oh, why try he's to portray not, yourself he's like smart. That? But watching this, I'm like, yes. Tracy's going to side with Tiffany and I'm going to side with Ronald. 100 percent side with Tiffany. So here's oh, the thing. she's a naggy and I would hit her in the face. That's because you don't expect people mm-hmm. to have food in their house when you travel. Nobody halfway. ever has the right food anyway. <laughs> I want to do the grocery shopping. Okay. You know, I don't like, want someone to do it for have me. Have something. I get it. But I feel like he would be like, I don't know what they like. We'll all go okay. together. But Noel, you get yeah. off the plane. There's no options. Yeah. I don't know. I don't hate him. I hate her. Okay. Well, she thinks that he wasted a lot of money on this room. And then, mm-hmm. uh, he's going to show her and he says to Daniel, come on, my boy, let's go prove a point. Okay. Let's he does go, not bother me. Let's go show. Let me show you how dumb your mom is. That's what he's saying. He's not wrong. Okay. Well, <laughs> he's carrying Carly wrapped in a blanket with yes. her arm dangling. Yes. It was not great. He's like, not good he, with kids. like he saved her from a well. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh-huh. What was that about? Yeah, I was like, oh, my God, is that, a, is that a trauma blanket? I don't think he's ever been exposed to like little kids or humans or humans. Yeah, he's not very good at humans. It looks like he just saved her from a fire. <laughs> That's so funny. Remember? Oh, yeah. There was a kid in that well for a while. Wasn't that in like Long Noelle, Island when we were little? That was like my favorite story. I know it was. Of course, it was like baby Jessica. Or baby something. Jessica was in the well. Uh, I didn't understand how she got in a well. I also thought it was like a very big, like a wishing well. Right. I, I guess it was a water well. I don't know. It was, but remember. it was, it was like the size of like, like a, a softball. Yes. And I'm like, how did she fit? But that's what I don't understand anything about kids and wells. <laughs> <laughs> that's what those are the two things okay, I don't well, understand. I don't know if you know, but I graduated college with a 4.0 and I did major in kids and wells and wells. Okay. Wellness. <laughs> Wellness. Do you remember when they took, I'll never forget when they took baby Jessica out and they uh, taped her to like a piece of baby cardboard. Well, I don't remember. Yeah. And she was like all bandaged up. Uh-huh. And, like, that's what Carly looked like when he uh, carried her. Out I wonder what she looks like now. baby. Oh, Jessica. there's tons of articles. She is. Come Stop on. Stop it. Really? You keep up with baby Jessica. I don't. I have to tell you, I'm way too much into like true crime that like I can't that. I don't know. I just can't. OK, well, first of all, I'd like to show you a picture of baby Jessica getting rescued from the well. This is what okay. I was talking about. She's taped up oh, like a mummy. Oh. Oh, that's right, well, sad. It's not sad because she's fine. Okay, okay, so let's see. Let's see. I a wonder picture if of... she's like uh, scared of like tight places now. I forget what that's called. Claustrophobia. Yeah, I wonder if she's claustrophobic now. I wonder if she is. Uh, if she goes in wells anymore, or if she's... right, or if she drinks water. <laughs> she's like orange juice only. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know if you know the story, but just Google baby Jessica <laughs> well. <laughs> 
Please. All right. So baby Jessica, um, 30 years later, her life is a miracle. This is from people.com. Uh, guys, check it out. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. She doesn't even look like she got stuck at a well. She looks like <laughs> nothing happened to her. She honestly, she looks like it could have been a wish- wishing well. Guys, join BS. This is what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this, but worse. Yes, way worse. We talk a lot, a lot about frozen yogurt, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly about frozen yogurt reviews. <laughs> Okay, let's get back on track, Tracy. Let's get back on track. Okay, okay. so now they go grocery shopping, mm-hmm. and he. I love how this is like a. This is one of the the checkpoints that they have in production notes uh-huh. on every single episode, every single season of Ninety Day Fiance. They're like, okay, where in your country can we find the organ meats? But why do they do this? This is what they do. This is like when Pedro's mother made uh-huh. Chantel and her family uh, chicken feet. Yes. It's like, I don't understand. What is the point of this? They love a good organ meat. Do you think they don't have organ meat in New York? You know what what I'm saying? Like you've never seen, oh, you've never seen something hanging. Let me tell you something. Go to the trade fair grocery store down the road from my house Mm -hmm. and you will see a hanging goat all the way. Yeah. Look at all the hanging like ducks in Chinatown. Come on, guys, relax. Mm -hmm. So they take her meat shopping by the animal (laughs) hanging organ section. Yes. Yum. She's like, ooh, is this where they play the organ? He's like, oh, worse. <laughs> this is where you eat the organ. This is where you eat the organ. So then she sees something that Ronald has tossed into the cart. He's acting like a little kid just throwing everything in the cart. Okay, well, he gets some polony, which <laughs> she translates into pink baloney. She's like, it's called polony because it's pink baloney. I think I eat that probably. You definitely But do. it's French. So it's fancy. It's, it's from France. So now... She said that uh, he's like, she goes, stop buying too much cereal. We're only here for two weeks. Right. And then Ronald turns around with a bloody knife. Mm-hmm. And he, and he looks, her. He looks <laughs> her in the face and he says, keep in mind, there's no time frame. You were like the guy from I know what you did last summer. That's what you reminded me of. I think you hurt yourself a little bit there. I'm behind you. <laughs> oh, gross. look in the backyard. Jenny. Yuck. Did you like that? Did you get yeah. scared? Yeah, I didn't like that at all. I'm home alone, Tracy. Keep in mind there's no time frame. Ew, I know. And Do- I, Donald, do you hear me? What's his name? What's his Ronald. name? Ronald. Daniel? No, the kid, Daniel. I put them together. That was good. Dan- Daniel's like, no, no, no. We have 14 days left here. Like he He's was like, like, don't get it twisted, yeah. pop. He's like, listen, daddy, I might be your boy, but your boy's going back to America. Your boy's going home. <laughs> Let me tell you something about your boy. <laughs> your boy's not staying here in the dungeon. No, hell no. But you know what? You know what I noticed on these houses? Remember, like when they were going to move, he was like, you have to have bars on the window. Mm-hmm. They're going to steal your children. Yeah. I do not see any bars here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's, it's like, like oh, they, wait, this is not dangerous anymore. That's even like when um, Amira was staying in that hotel in um, in Serbia. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, oh, in the ghettos of war torn country, and it's like each other. okay, but she was just in a regular city. She area. was like at Quiznos or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so now <laughs> he's really mad, and guess what? He's what? short $50 at the register. So you know what, Noel? In your face, Team Ronald. I it- don't know. I still don't feel bad for him. You know what, Tiffany? Pony the fuck up and pay for something too. Yes. Pony she's, up. She's been supporting him for like years. Yeah, I don't know. I Nothing about her makes me feel empathetic okay, at all. Okay, good. Well, I hate you. Okay, good. You should. Good. So he pulls down his mask to check out. Uh-huh. No, well, everyone was pulling down their mm-hmm. masks. Uh-huh. And then they get home and he's like, all right, Daniel, go watch Carly so I could unpack with your mom. Yes. Oh, Daniel's like, listen, I mean, my dad. Uh huh. Why don't you watch your kid? Why don't you, you watch your girl? Oh, no, he doesn't know how. He doesn't know how. <laughs> so now uh, did you also see that the room leading to the dungeon says smile? Yes. And it's like, I would not smile on my way in there smile smile you're on camera (laughs) yeah it sounds terrible that's like where bad things happen this is like i watched these documentaries this is like where children are kept yes Mm -hmm. this is exactly what's happening so now um what the hell is brie relish by the way brie relish is tomatoes and onions it's like um, like, what is this it's just a canned tomato with some onion in it it's almost like a sofrito kind of thing maybe i think of like 
a brie cheese salad. You wish. Yeah, I wish. Hell yeah, I wish. That's what I wanted. No, it's just, it's more simple than that. Okay. So now um, this is where Tiffany loses me. Say it. I know she does. Mm-hmm. She goes, why did you get this? P.S. It's a chicken. Yeah, it's just a chicken. She's like, I don't know how to make this. And he's like, oh, it's a chicken. What do you eat? for Thanksgiving like it's a chicken like you yeah just, she doesn't know how to roast a chicken she's like oh no only like the breast okay he's like okay like a chicken flay like a chicken yeah. cutlet that's what uh-huh he's like yeah so you do that but then it's just the whole chicken yeah mm-hmm. um yeah she should I'm not listen I'm not trying to give any suggestions but if uh anyone from the state is listening take her kids away from her yeah I mean what are you feeding them you can't roast a chicken you can't live on brie relish you can't roast a chicken no I, right that's like the most like common core of cooking okay but also if you roast a chicken say a chicken's 10 bucks yeah you have two little kids you could feed the family for like three days and you can like make it into other things make chicken yeah. salad yeah. whatever chicken, uh-huh. soup. chicken soup yeah listen i would roast a chicken every week mm-hmm. i would take all the meat off i would make soup out of the bones yeah I would have roasted chicken one day. I would have chicken soup the next day. I would yeah. have like, come on, a chicken, chicken salad sandwich. sandwiches. Right. right. Relax with the chicken salad sandwich. I would have a regular chicken sandwich. Well, you can't just mix it with ranch. No, like I, I would ever mix it with mayonnaise. You know me a little better than that. I know, but it was really implied and I didn't like that. <laughs> it's not a never implied on my side of the world. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> well, mm-hmm. He said that he couldn't pay for the rest of the groceries because he didn't have his credit card. Okay, this is where I had a problem. And I'm like, oh, did you lose your wallet? Uh Mm Uh-huh. Right. Okay, cool. Uh Oh, you forgot your card. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, do you know what you have to do when you go spend money? She's like, bring your wallet. And he's probably like, yeah, but remember when you wouldn't let me bring my wallet? Right. I mean, he's not wrong. You remember when you I wasn't allowed to have a credit card? Mm -hmm. (laughs) So now Carly's crying. Ronald said he cannot help. And Tiffany needs to sleep. Now, remember something. She has traveled Mm -hmm. with all these kids. Then she had to go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. And now he still won't help. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, I don't know. I have many issues where it's the next day. It's not like she's never slept. No, she hasn't slept. She said she has. She has not slept since before the flight. Yeah, I don't buy it, though, because it's the next day. Because that's why him and Daniel are in the room on the floor in the dungeon. I don't know. Like, I just feel like she's always the victim. This is my problem with her. All right. Well, I'll tell you this. Yeah. (laughs) Ronald does something uh, very Tracy like he gives the baby a plastic (laughs) bag to play with. She's like, that's literally (laughs) the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do. So but you know what, though, even I knew that. Right. Like I wouldn't give a kid a bag to like like a plastic bag has like a warning on it. Right. Like, don't play with this. Don't give this to a baby. Yes. And he's like, I thought it's a give it to a baby. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing now. He's going to mop. And this is what this is like. Uh huh. It's like you ever don't want to do something and you'll do anything not to do it. Yeah. It's like, come on, you got to do your homework. And it's like, yeah, but I do have to organize my bookshelf. I don't know. I see the other side of this. All right. Well, Ronald, is I making... feel like he worked so hard to make the house for them that now he doesn't want to make it a mess. He made a mess. So he just wants to clean it up. OK, well, he is also making a dirty direct on the counter sandwich. <sighs> yes, he is. He also will not change a poop diaper. He wouldn't get up with Carly during the night. Mm-hmm. And he thinks she's like, you're not being supportive of me. And he goes, yeah, well, I got an apartment. And it's like, you still need to live somewhere, Ronald. Well, yeah, listen, I I get it. I do get it. But I feel like all she does is knock this guy down. Never like good job. Never. Thank you. Nothing. You can't be a nag 24 seven. I don't know. She doesn't like him, though. Then don't be with him. Well, that's the thing. Why are you there too? like you're pretending? Okay, this is a quote from Ronald. Yeah. Change a poop diaper. No, that's your job. It doesn't do it for me. Ha ha. It doesn't do it for you. Uh huh. It doesn't do it. Listen, she could be married to Norman Bates and I would take his side because I can't stand her. All right. Well, <laughs> she's not sure if she's staying for Christmas and he thinks that she should stay even if he doesn't help. Right. And he's like, fine, I'll take care of them myself. <laughs> and then he walks into the house. 
are they at his mom's house or something? Because now all of a sudden there's a full sectional couch. I know. I don't know. I think they're at his mother's house. They have to be because they wouldn't have left the two kids inside unless Daniel By was themselves. nannying. Well, I think Daniel, I don't know. Daniel's kind of old enough to stay with Carly for a few minutes, I'm sure. Well, why does Daniel need to take care of Ronald and Carly, though? I know. he And his watch. He's got I a know. lot to take care of. This He's like, no wonder, no wonder I need a watch. He's like, I have two <laughs> kids. I got to know what time to pick them up. <laughs> So he said that he needs time to figure out how to be a dad and he's pouting. Okay. I think that that mainly is my whole issue with this thing. I get that he's doing a lot of wrong things, but she's just throwing everything at him. And like, he has no idea how to be a dad. He has no idea how to do any of this. Why don't you help him instead of complaining to him the whole time? And that's what I don't like. I get it. But I think that she's at the point where she doesn't want to be supportive anymore. She just doesn't like him. Right. But that's what I mean. Why are you there? I don't know. Who yeah. knows? Listen. Send Daniel. Just send Daniel. You, you don't should. have to go. You should. Send Daniel, <laughs> Daniel with Carly. You could put a baby Bjorn on Daniel and strap Carly to him. I wish you could just carry me in a baby Bjorn. You, Sometimes yourself. I do. Every time we go to the store, I tell you to get in the cart. I know. I know. I can't fit, though. You can. I guess, but I feel like I would get kicked out. Next time we go, we're going to put you in the cart. Okay. Um, Libby and Andre are traveling on this RV, and I just want to say something. Mm-hmm. Libby and Andre are on this RV. Yeah. Tiffany was on this plane for so long. Mm -hmm. There's so much downtime. I'm looking forward to things getting back to normal this summer, like finally traveling again, too, or spending more time with time with friends that I haven't seen. Mm -hmm. But we're all way past due for a summer that feels refreshingly normal. And when you download Best Fiends, you can give your brain a dose of refreshment all year long. Oh, I love playing Best Fiends, Tracy. Best Fiends is way more fun than the other matching puzzle games out there. It's one of those games that makes 30 minutes feel like 30 seconds, which is the truth. Everybody on the RV should be playing it. It's totally free to download with thousands of fun puzzles to solve. There's something new every single day. There's so many levels to go. There are. There's always new levels. But the really fun part of Best Fiends is how you strategically team up with each character based on their special abilities to gain extra points and items to level up your fiends. And they're also so cute. There's just so much to love about this game. Give it a try and let me know if you love it as much as we do. Download the five-star rated puzzle game Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. Okay, awesome. I think it would really have prevented some fighting on this RV. I agree. I think they're just fighting because they're bored. I know. <laughs> so Becky gets off to talk to Andre and he calls her a drama queen. Okay. And Libby is now doing that thing where she pins everyone against each other. And she's like, Dad, get off. You should go outside too. You're the reason that everyone's fighting. How about you get outside? That's your husband out there. Huck said he didn't want to talk about business. But do you uh -huh. remember how he started it? No, I thought Andre started it. He was like, ah, oh, I didn't want to say anything, but. Oh, you are right. You're right. He's mm -hmm. like that deal, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So now they get back on the bus. Chuck's mm -hmm. blaming Andre now. Right. Well, he's saying that Andre wanted to talk business. Right. Okay. Well, they're at this house in North Carolina. They're going to stop over. Now, here's my problem with this. Help. <laughs> You're going on an RV. Yeah. Isn't the whole point to drive through? Okay, I thought they were going to sleep on the RV. That's what I thought the whole point of this was. The whole point was also get an RV that sleeps, everyone. Okay, thank you. I thought I was wrong here. No, and you should have mm -hmm. gotten two people that could have driven the RV and you should have yes. switched off. That's how that works. Right, it's not fair for one person to have to drive 16 hours. That's exhausting. So they got this big RV mm -hmm. that everyone didn't even have a seat in. Yes. Come on, guys. Right. All the kids had to go in the back and the adults all had to cram together in the front. Very weird. So now <laughs> no one wants to get back in the RV. The sisters yeah. don't want to get back on. Yeah. I mean, do you blame them? No, but like, are you gonna? Probably not. They honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they were like, let's just fly the rest of the way. Okay. But why can't you just rent a car? Oh yeah, that's true. Cause they're in North Carolina. They're not even like that far. I, but this is the yeah. stupidest. This is so made for TV anyway. Yeah, because also you stop in North Carolina. That's so close to Maryland. I know. <laughs> so now um, Ellie was on the stairs. Andre apparently was supposed to be watching her. Right. She fell down the stairs, but Libby caught her and Ellie did not hit her head. She got scared. 
Right. And Ellie, uh, I'm sorry, Libby cut her finger too. Right. So they're <laughs> screaming at each other. Mm-hmm. And Jen or Becky says, mm-hmm. Libby, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Jen said that. Okay. What? And then like, they're Meaning all in- like kids are going to get hurt. Kids are going to, you know, this is going to happen. It's not a big deal. No, I think they're, they're saying like something like meaning like Andre is going to flip out or like they're going to get divorced. Like, no, I, no, no. They were, t- they were literally, they were outside. They were talking about oh, this I stuff happens. Oh, I thought they were like, it's going to happen. No, because like, also what the hell was wrong with Libby? She was being a baby. Okay. All she would do uh-huh. is saying how she caught her saying how yeah. like this traumatic event happened. That's oh, she was like, I caught her. Thank God I caught her. She could have died. The house could have gone on fire. Thank God I caught. And it's like, okay, let's move on. And then Andre's mocking her. They're fighting in front of the family. She's yeah. like just being so nasty. He's being so nasty. And it's like, this is why no one likes either of you. Well, the thing is, I feel like you were right. You called this a few weeks ago. There yep. is a theme of every episode. The theme on this episode, I hate to say it, is the women being victims. Yep. Every single woman here is being annoying. <laughs> oh, man. I don't <laughs> think that's true, Noelle. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Speaking, we're going to move on to Mike and Natalie. But before we do that, something that every single person on this episode and everyone on the show could use is some therapy. That is the truth. <laughs> Better help online counseling is definitely helpful because they'll assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. And you can connect in a safe and private environment online. It is so convenient and you could start communicating in under 24 hours. This is not self-help. This is professional counseling. You could send a message to your counselor at any time and you'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, You schedule weekly video or phone sessions. This is all without ever having to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room. And you don't have to sit in traffic, traveling anywhere. You could do it anywhere you want. You could do it from the RV. You could do it from the rental. You could do it from the pond. (laughs) This service is also available for clients world, world worldwide, world. Yes, world. Anything that you share is confidential. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash fiance. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash fiance. Speaking of mental help. Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Mike and Natalie. You know, it's funny because at first when this happens, I'm like, where is she going? It's take, It took them too long to explain where she was. Okay, yes. So yes. They, they put her in this house and it's like, mm-hmm. okay, who's this lady? Who's this lady? You're not yes. telling me who this lady is. So apparently this is Juliana. It's a friend that she met online six months ago. See, I at first thought it was going to be her friend because doesn't she have a friend? Svetlana. And, yes. And but Michael's we never see friend- her again. Right. But did they still live in Washington? Who knows? I don't know. That's don't who know. I thought this was at first. Well, Mike is going to come for dinner. So uh, I guess uh, Natalie went from the house and yeah. then Mike is going to come from work mm-hmm. because this woman is in Seattle and she's going to make potato pancakes, though. Oh, yes, she is. So yeah. she's Russian. And this woman. Mm-hmm. OK, I'm going to describe her for you. OK. Juliana has on a headband mm-hmm. right across the front of her forehead. Yes. And then she is dressed like a Wiccan ice dancer. That's what she's, she's dressed like <laughs> if I was in, which I am sometimes if I was in the Olympics for figure skating. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I also really wanted to look like I was Wiccan. Or like you were going to read my tarot cards. Yes. Yeah. This is exactly like if I was talking to the wind and the <laughs> animals outside. <laughs> You were hugging my tree. Right. Yes. I would definitely put this <laughs> Wiccan ice dancer outfit on. Yes. It's, it was very interesting. I'm like, hmm, nice headband. <laughs> well, she's having a surgery next week for her quote unquote breathing problem for her runny nose. AK, she's having a nose job. Right. Which is fine. But just like say it. Listen, I'm going to tell you a secret. Uh huh. I have nasal problems. Yes. This is no secret to anyone. Yes. I have a deviated septum. Mm -hmm. If I wanted a nose job, they would give me one and cover it. Oh, your insurance would cover it. Okay. I don't want one. Right. But I could get a quote unquote nose job. I could. Wow. Okay. That makes sense. Right. So she hasn't told him about her surgery because she said that he can't afford it because he's in so much debt. 
Right. So instead you schedule it. Okay. <laughs> and she also said it might be expensive. Do you not know <laughs> she how didn't much ask the price? You didn't ask the price. You were just like, oh, whatever it is. Mike's got it. I yeah. think fancy free. Mike's got also, it. Also, if you have health insurance, mm-hmm. if you have a DV, she said no. Mm-hmm. She doesn't know though. Well, she said it might not cover it. Okay, but you get but an she approval. Ask. So you don't get the surgery uh-uh. and then roll the dice. But that's what I mean. She's just, she's like, okay, whatever day you guys say, uh, well, whatever we'll get, price we'll you guys there. say. So he brought flowers for both her and Juliana. That Very cute. Nice. Um, also, something that I've noticed, and I think I've spoken about this before. Mm-hmm. Mike definitely wears shapewear under all of his clothes. Really? Have you said this before? Yes. <laughs> Mike has on a very, very intense spanks on his top half. What? What? Uh, you can see it through his shirt. And also, he has no chest. Maybe he just has like scoliosis. Okay. And wears a brace. Okay, cool. He has no pecs whatsoever because of this this uh spanks. maybe he had a nipple out of me who knows <laughs> <laughs> he definitely had a nipple out of me because his shapewear is it's not just like the light shapewear uh-huh. this is like a full scuba suit this Did is like they make this for men i don't yes, even know 100 really yes okay so also um his polo shirt that he's wearing yeah is so small for him <laughs> that he has to unbutton the top button so his neck fits through the hole. Yes. Uh-huh. It's not even so that he has a little extra room. It's no. so his head fits through the hole. Buddy, just size up. It's like a turtle in a shell. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. he's like, no, it's fine. I have on my <laughs> Spanx. And they're like, you could just get another size. Uh, and he's like, no, it's fine. We're already at the big skims and- on. <laughs> We're already at the big and tall store. It's fine. All right. So Natalie now asks Mike to cut the pickles. <laughs> and she tells him that they want to do surgery as he's cutting the pickles with a right. knife. And she doesn't know what the insurance will cover. <laughs> and he's not mad, like, even a little bit. No, he's actually really nice about it. He's just confused about why this was, like, a secret. Right. And like, why are you like, you're telling me at Juliana's house, like, I'm going to beat you if you told me at home. Yes. Uh So now uh, they sit down and Juliana puts a wreath on Natalie's head. Uh, For you guys listening, if you've seen Midsummer, like Mm -hmm. this is what it reminds me of. Uh Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. Also, Midsummer, uh, the theatrical play of it. Uh Uh-huh. I went to go see it uh, when my friend Nick was in it years ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, True yeah. Story. Midsummer. Very, very bad. Scary things happen in that movie. Very, very good. <laughs> I think it's the same. It probably is. Or it's based on the same thing. I blacked out during that play because there was no air conditioning. I remember seeing a play. I think that you helped. This is when you were in the theater group, like you were in it. Mm-hmm. And I almost passed out because it was so hot in there. Yes. That I was a this. million years ago. Yes. yes. Isn't it fun? Yeah. <laughs> New York City. That's actually when I was on Broadway. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. Well, you're very talented, Tracy. Thank you so much. Uh, you you are, are too. But you're more. No, you. <laughs> you have more uh, credits. <laughs> what are credits even? Whatever. You had a scholarship Listen. to high school. I'm never going to get over it. <laughs> Is that the credit? Listen, so what if I was in a documentary on Hulu? Yeah. So what if I was in Hysterical on Hulu? So what if yeah. I'm famous now? So you what? Are. But who cares? I do. Who cares if I have my own vice documentary? Who cares? I do. I'm a fan. Thanks. Yeah, you're you're making it big. So what if I was on Broadway? Who cares? <laughs> that was fun, though. It was definitely an experience. Yeah, I definitely blacked out. I'm telling you, I remember this heat. <laughs> All right. So Juliana <laughs> puts a wreath on her head. And mm-hmm. are they eating on a train car? Why do you Is say this, this the smallest dining room we've oh. ever seen? Did you see the island in the kitchen? It was like an end table in the middle of the kitchen. It was what the is weirdest happening? thing. It was very, it was like that $7 Ikea table. <laughs> very weird. <laughs> All right. So now um, they are making potato pancakes and something called vinaigrette, yeah, which I thought was like, oh, that goes on salad. I th- and I Googled yeah. and Googled. Guys, if you know what that is, please come over to our uh, yes. Facebook group. 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk on Facebook. Tell us what that is. Uh, I don't know. I Googled it. Everything came up vinaigrette. I was like, no. Um, I would love to know. So now the food also 
I couldn't tell what we were seeing pictures of. Yeah. It looked like a piece of steak with a lot of parsley on it. It's uh okay. I don't really know, even though I lived in a very Eastern European neighborhood. Yes, you like, did. Yeah. And it's like I saw right, there would always be a lot of pickles, sour cream, potato yes. pancakes, Pickle a lot pairing. of smoked meats. Yeah, things like that, which and is what I was cream. expecting. Mm, so much sour cream. Everything is usually cold too. Like when they went to yes. go visit to Moldova. Yeah. And everything was cold. Yep. Everything is an app. Yes. Everything is a salad. Everything's of a some sort. Say. Yeah, everything is like a, a just a board on a board. There's a lot of gels. There are there's a lot of like aspic. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. There are a lot of gels. So he says that he's going to take care of her. And Natalie does this thing that she does so often where she what? just looks dead in the <laughs> distance with dead eyes. She clearly has an issue communicating. Mm, OK, I mean, I think she just has an issue. Did you ever feel like, and I don't know, I'm just going out on a limb here. I've been, I've dated people Mm -hmm. who I feel like um, have made me feel like I was crazy. Mm -hmm. And I almost feel like that's what she does to Michael. Like Mm -hmm. she acts like he's going to flip out all the time, even when he's not. Correct. Yes. Correct. It's really weird. Like I've had people do this to me I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you that I'm getting nasal surgery. He's like, okay, cool. Right. She's like, why do you have to be like this? And he's like, I just want like, I just wanted you to tell me. OK, <laughs> so now uh, she thinks that he's going to change his mind and he's not going to take care of her. And it's like she's going to make sure he changes his mind. She wants him to change yes. his mind. Uh-huh. So now they're outside. They're being playful, fixing the car. And Mike was like, listen, I just got caught off guard. I don't know why you would need like a witness when you told me. Right. And then also, like, why was this like a big reveal? Right. Cause it's just, it's no big deal. I mean, it's a surgery. It's a big right. deal, but like, it's no big deal for you to tell me. She's like, yeah, well, what do you think? They ask you like when you want to come? He's like, yeah. She's like, no, they said you take it or leave it. You get the surgery today or never. Where are you getting this surgery? In the dungeon that yeah. Ronald built yes. for Daniel. Yes. That's exactly where this is happening. It sounds like hostile. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it. If you can't make it that day, that's it. No, that's it. Surgery canceled. Your that's like just keeps what on happens running. If you were due to give birth that day. Too bad. You're not in labor. Too bad. It's Too in bad. there forever I hope you now. Can breathe through a different hole. <laughs> Speaking of, I like that he wants to show her all the different holes in his truck. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So um, she said that even Melanie is more supportive. She's like, I told Melanie and I told her I'm all alone. He's like, Who's Who is Melanie? So usually I think Mike is a jerk. I don't think he was a jerk <laughs> no, here at I, all. He so Cause she starts like flipping out. She's, She's like, like Melanie, yelling. you know, Melanie. He's like, I literally don't know. Melanie, Melanie. from 117th street. You know her. <laughs> I named my turtle after her when I was little. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, you shouldn't because you don't listen to BS. Oh man. <laughs> uh, okay. So. Natalie is not well. She's having some problems. She's not here. well, and it's not her sinuses. Right. Where is it? We're seeing a problem here. Yeah, it's a little bit. Okay, go to the sinuses and go up like four inches. <laughs> That's where the issue is. <laughs> like while they're there, yeah. they should tweak around. Yeah, maybe you guys should just look and see if anything <laughs> else is wrong. <laughs> Tug on a few I things don't care up if, there. I don't care if that's not covered by insurance. <laughs> Charge He'll whatever. pay extra. <laughs> I bet he would, though. All right. Now, let's move on to Shovi, Yovi, Hovi, and Yara. And Yara. So she wakes up at Gwen's house. She looks so cute. I can't take it. In her little sweatsuit. With her sweatsuit and her glasses. Um, I love her hair now. Yes. It's what a difference. Please with those extensions. Yeah. And the color, too. It's so nice. Jovi's been gone for two months. And she's like, Miss Gwen, can I use your computer? (laughs) I love Myla's so cute too. Myla's she very, really is. very cute. And also, I will say this too. Gwen has a very nice and clean house. Yeah, it's so clean. I was yes. thinking the same thing. Like you, there's not even like a scuff on the wall. It's very yes. clean. And I do want to say this too. I know yeah. that a lot of people are like, oh, Yara's not nice to Miss Gwen. Uh, she is. And they joke around a lot. And I'm telling you, they're trying they're to twist this because she goes, give me your old computer so I could call uh, Jovi. She goes, oh, my God, it looks like you're poor. 
Right. But that's what I mean. It's not real. Yeah, they're she very gives her, funny. She gives her a MacBook. Right. No, they're they're they have really cute banter. Yes. Mm-hmm. So they have a very sweet relationship. So she FaceTimes with Jovi and Gwen takes the baby. Yeah. Bad news. Jovi has to stay a few more weeks and oh, he's yeah. coming back the day after Christmas. That sucks. And she's like, but you promised. He's like, I didn't promise. I just told you that that's what we were scheduled for. She's I feel only- like that's not his fault, though. It's not his fault. Yeah. But I, but I, I see both sides of it because it's not his fault. I would be disappointed. Like, sure. She's disappointed. Yeah. You know that she's only seen him three months in the whole year he's been there. Yeah, that sucks. This is rough. This I understand is why their relationship is- works. Right. <laughs> but it is true, though. It's why they still mm-hmm. kind of like each other. But. And the problem is, is that a lot of people are like she signed up for this. It's like, no, she signed up for two months on two months off. Right. She has now seen him three months and th- 12 months. But again, the COVID that it's, was no, out no, of his but, control. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like she didn't sign up for this specifically. No, this is intense, especially as like a new mom. With right. A little and baby. she got COVID. Yeah. More bad news. She has to move solo by the end of the month. But again, it's not that scary. He's choosing to move. Right. Because she doesn't want to stay there. Uh She doesn't want to live in New Orleans anymore. She doesn't care where he wants to live. And you know what? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't either. No, me either. I. She is absolutely right. She, yep. It's her and the baby home most of the time. Yep. She should be able to go wherever the hell she wants yep. to go. Too bad. That's a sacrifice he should make. Yeah, but he wants to be near the strippers. But okay. Question. I mean, the city, the city. I'm sorry. <laughs> if don't, if it were you. Yes. Would you have gone like a little closer to Gwen? To Gwen. Yes. Yeah, me but too. See, I don't know if that is a little closer to Gwen. Because they moved like 40 minutes away or right, something. Right. But yeah. it might be halfway f- from Gwen. I, I don't so. know. I don't know yeah. what direction it is. Yeah. So mm-hmm. he's going to miss Christmas. Now, yeah. when and grandma come over to help? Grandma is, she's mean. a spitfire. She's mean. She gets there. They get there <laughs> to help her pack. Yara hasn't packed anything and the movers are coming. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. She They're knew they losing would come their and mind. Uh-huh. Grandma is going to stab her. Well, because Yara, you're being a dick. Because Yara's know, but- like, oh, I want to hold the baby all the time. And they're like, yeah, what? But that like, that's your own problem. Mm-hmm. So yeah. she said that she really wants to live in Paris or Amsterdam. <laughs> OK, dream big. <laughs> so they're moving 45 minutes away to a much bigger place. And the best part was, quote, nobody's throwing up on my shoes. That, it, that would that would be a sell for me, too. One hundred percent. Yeah. Also. She said, like, you know, she's afraid when she walks. She doesn't know mm-hmm. if someone's going to steal the baby. And grandma said, yep, you're scared. They're going to nap your baby up. Yeah. And it's like nap the baby up. OK, also the movers come and they've already moved. They packed everything real quick. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. I guess nanny and Nana. I, I don't know. know. See, that's why I'm saying I don't know if that was real because they also had a million boxes. I mm-hmm. mean, and some of them are definitely packed. She did not pack anything. No. So she moved to a nice, quiet neighborhood. And now we see what's happened. Hopefully it is closer to Gwen. The place looks really nice. It looks a lot bigger. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to Michael and Angela. Okay. We got Michael. Michael Michael Mm -hmm. is playing soccer or AKA quote working out. Just alone. Alone. Angela broke up with him and his friends come out. The goofballs. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Maybe he was playing goofball. Oh, maybe. Maybe that's like bocce ball. Yes. <laughs> so he didn't even invite the goofballs to the wedding. Yeah, but like, I feel like that's terrible. But he couldn't. Also, they didn't want to come because they didn't even support the marriage. And Ade said she's not attractive. OK, I don't think that he should be talking about her looks. I think it's way more about her attitude. Well, they're super excited that they broke up. And they also all agree that, quote, big boobs are the best. Yeah, oh, I know. They're, they're very boob centric. Very boob centric. So they're so happy. Mm-hmm. And even Bodhi is happy. Peter's mm-hmm. happy. And he wants to confront her about his needs. Okay. Why are you waiting until now? Is it because you got her yes. married? Like yep. you got her on the hook and now Correct. you think you can. Right. I feel yes. like he did. He played the game. Yep. And now they're married and he's like, nope. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. He's like, I don't have to deal with this. Yeah, it's true. He's like, I can't even read the funnies anymore. Right. I write. She can't. (laughs) 
She can't silly putty them. I have her nothing to hang on to. Um, I'm in the car. I have no seatbelt. I have nothing to strap me down. Nothing no. to tug on to. Nothing, nothing to tug on to. No. This is terrible. Yeah. I needed to move a mattress. I had nothing to tie onto the roof of the car. Mm-mm. Nope, I had nope. no flotation devices for the pool. Nothing. I had nothing. Nothing at all. I was trying to do a mud race. I didn't even have a rope to pull myself up the wall. I didn't have a slip and slide for the yard. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I had no bubble gum. <laughs> Gross. So Angela, on the other hand, goes to a lawyer. She goes over to Lou mm-hmm. the lawyer. But like, you know, she's not going to divorce him. OK, mm-hmm. this is another theme on this show. Yeah. Seeing a lawyer. Being a lawyer for... Uh, immigration. And then when you see them for immigration, they just don't know. They're like, there's no way to know those laws. Yeah. Then you see them for a divorce mm-hmm. that and they and you're not sure if you want to get divorced. You never actually go through with it. Right. Well, that's the thing. It's like now, once he tells her everything she knows, then it's yes. like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. So now they would have to serve him. Right. They will withdraw the visa. Mm-hmm. Maybe just cool off. Right. Because then she's like, well, what if we decide to get back together? She's, he's like, yeah, then you have to get married. Yeah. And that looks shady. You have to get remarried and then yes. reapply for the visa. Lou is not sure if this guy is scamming her. And she said that she still loves him. OK. Yeah. Do you think that immigration watches the show? Maybe. Like, why are you doing this? Isn't this like a red flag in your case? Here's the thing, though. She doesn't care. She's impulsive. She yeah, does but not everyone, think things through. Noel, everyone on this show has yeah, gone to a lawyer that's to true. Fake divorce. Yeah, there was no uh, Kalani this week, speaking of. She was at the lawyer. Yeah, she, she was, was like, sorry, guys, I can't film. <laughs> I had to take off my mask. <laughs> lawyer. All right, let's move over to Brandon and Julia. She dressed him in a black turtleneck sweater, and she's in short sleeves. I know, but you know, she is very big on turtlenecks. She loves a good turtle. Yeah. She dresses him like a <laughs> jazz musician. And he's hot. He's so hot. All she I kept had- thinking about was you. I'm like, Noelle. Tracy would call the cops on her. <laughs> I would. <laughs> you would. Hello? 911? <laughs> I'm in this a turtleneck. I need help. Put, she put me in a turtleneck. I don't know what to do. Freaking out. You got to get me out of this. Please come. <laughs> it's like, ma'am, just take the turtle. No, I need you guys. No, I need you. <laughs> <laughs> she's in a short sleeve how could she do this to me <laughs> so they're going to go look at apartments and basically he's dressed like a poet and she said that in russia it's a hundred dollars a month for an apartment also okay. though i mean i don't think that they make very much money right exactly yeah so now they go to see not only do they go to yeah. see a three-bedroom apartment. They go to see a newly constructed three-bedroom apartment. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's got a million closets. Yeah. It's like, got, oh, okay. It's got a, a patio, an in-ground pool. Come on, guys. I don't really know if it has that, but but are you supposed to tell your realtor? Like I told my realtor, what, your when price I was moving, my budget. Well, they take off their masks to go in, first of all. Of course they do. He said that it's so big, he's going to skateboard inside from the bedroom to the kitchen. And she's like, with no pants on. Naked. Yeah. Gross. No, just a turtleneck. (laughs) He's like, how can I wear pants if I'm wearing a turtleneck? I'm so hot. I need to get a breeze somewhere. Pick one. (laughs) Okay. It's $1,800 a month. It's 1,200 square feet. It's almost 1,300 square feet. Right. I don't know what that means, but right. Is that a lot? It's a lot. Okay. It's like a house. Okay. That's what I figured. Cause 1800, I mean, how cheap for that? Oh my God. Right now. Yeah. She wants to move. He's like, no, that's way too much money. And she's like, yeah, but there's no dirty animals here. And then she says, this is a quote. I can't stay farm anymore. This is all she says through the whole thing. I can't stay farm anymore. Oh, I can't no. stay. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. so and then she, and she tells him, uh, thank you for showing me my dreams and thank you for breaking my yeah, dreams. It's fine. Everything's fine. What's wrong so with you? She, they did look at a place for living. Right. But now she has an interview mm-hmm. and it's a dancing interview. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, where pray tell are they going for a dance? Right. Are they going interview? to sound factory? <laughs> where are, are they, going, they going, to, going for this? Are they going to baby dolls right where are they going and then i'm like oh maybe they're going to like a dance studio like she's gonna da- teach sure like, nope they go to crunch fitness <laughs> um and then she also uh brandon wants everyone to know and this is a quote i've done some working out in gyms 
Right. Uh, we know we saw the peanut butter in your room. Yeah, Branson. we saw it. <laughs> we saw He's it. Like I've <laughs> I've had peanut powdered peanut butter before. I've had so, protein shakes. I don't know if you guys have seen, but I shop for my polo shirts the same place Mike does. <laughs> okay, and they barely fit me too. I put on toddler shirts. <laughs> My mom dresses me in all baby gap and I could barely fit in them anymore because my muscles are oh, man. bulging. Oh, man. Did you Stole see me breaking butter. out of that turtleneck? Uh-huh. I was, was busting, busting out. <laughs> <laughs> so now this guy. Yeah. Is watching her dancing. Why did she have to put heels? on? Okay. So he's like, all right. So first part of the class would be a dumbbell workout. Right. Then it would be a dance. So I guess it's like dumbbells and like cardio strength and cardio. Yeah. She has heels on mm-hmm. <laughs> with a sports shirt. Yes. On. All right. <laughs> she does a stripper dance, which is nice. She not humps the floor. Not what's needed at the gym. Okay. And he said, why don't we minimize going down to the floor? <laughs> yeah, I would pass out. I couldn't do that. She's like, also, um, he goes, uh, maybe less of the taking your top off. <laughs> less nipple. Less nipple. <laughs> less um, grinding on the guy in the front. <laughs> And he was like, but that was great. He was trying to be nice. And here is his out. And this is a uh-huh. classic. Like, I would love to hire you. Basically, you're hired. You just have to take these classes online. Yep. And uh, get certified in English, basically. Right. I know that you can't pass this. So definitely uh-huh. take these and then I'll hire you right away. Well, this is like those bars that yes. this is. And they would be like, you have to get your bartending license. Yep. And that's how I used to make my money (laughs) teaching those people, (laughs) teaching those morons. Anyway, so now he says, all right, let's go get a drink. And she's like, yeah, let's go get a drink. I think he meant a bottle of water. Yeah, I think he meant a Gatorade. (laughs) (laughs) What do you think he meant? Protein shake. Yeah, I think he meant like, let's go to the the juice bar at the gym. Right. Like, I don't think we're going to drink a vodka and cranberry right now. She's like, oh, I love it. She's like, my husband only brings me to breweries (laughs) and I don't drink beer. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Well, this was a very fun episode. Make sure you're following us at 90 Day Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Lots of stuff is going on over there. Make sure you're following me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram and Twitter. And if you're looking for more on my upcoming stand-up comedy dates, TracyCarnazzo.com. Follow Noel at Noe Girl on Instagram and Twitter. Give us a five-star rating and amazing review. Make sure you're joining Patreon at Patreon.com slash Trash Talk Podcast. Listen to Catfish Trash Talk. Tell a friend. Tell one friend. <laughs> leave us a review because yeah, maybe we'll read it. Ooh, this is like the best part of my day. I have to tell you. Reading all the reviews, right? Uh Uh-huh. I also love it. It it is. It's such like, what a feeling. It's very nice. What a feeling. What is that from Flashdance? Fame. I don't know. Flashdance. Flashdance. Okay. I don't know. I wasn't allowed to see any of these. You probably were not. I loved fame. Fame used to make me cry. We got a a review that says favorite podcast, five stars. These girls say what I'm thinking. Absolutely love 90 day fiance, but I think I like listening to the podcast more. Thanks besties. That's from Nat jam 16. We love you. We love you guys. If you want your review read, make sure you give us a five star rating. Amazing review. And maybe we'll see you on the podcast. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.